So welcome to the DARPS 2023 Symposium on Gamebooks and Interactive Media. I am Bjorn Olekam from Kyoto University and editor at JARPS. I will moderate the symposium today. With me is also my co-editor Kato Kohei from Tokyo Gakuge University. Kyoto Daigaku to RPG Gaku Kenkyu Henshibu no Bjorn Olekam to Moshimasu. 本日のシンポジウム司会をいたします。で、一緒に放送されているのはあの共同編集者の東京学芸大学の加藤光平です。Before we start, let me explain some technical matters. シンポジウムを開会する前にあの芸術的なことあ少しあの説明したいと思います。And for that, I need to share my screen. So, yeah, um, the symposium, as announced, is a bilingual event with um, simultaneous interpretation in Japanese and English. So please use the interpretation button at the bottom of the Zoom window to choose the language you prefer. ズームウィンドウ下部のあの通訳ボタンよりあのご希望のあの自分に合う言語を選びください。お選びください。So did you all choose your language? あの言語を選択されましたか？あのこれからはあの英語のみで説明しますので、あの必要な方は日本語通訳を選択してください。So I will continue in English. Only from now on, so if you need Japanese, please switch to that uh, channel. Okay, so a bit more on technical matters. Each presenter has about 20 minutes, including presentation and Q&A. During the Q&A, please raise your hand if you want to ask something or comment on the presentation. When you speak, please switch on your camera and please use an external microphone or headphones like I do. This ensures the interpreters can hear you clearly. Please speak not too fast. In most cases, there will be many more questions than we can address during the Q&A. For this reason, we provide channels on Discord where you can continue discussing during and after the event. After this um, welcome, I will post the Discord link again in the chat, just in case. But please use only the Discord channels, not the Zoom chat. If you log in to Discord for the first time, you will be asked to confirm the community rules. And then you can move to the JARPS 2023 Symposium channels. And here we have a um, general discussion channel where you find the rules for today's event and which you can use for general discussions about game books. We also have a social channel for off-topic talks and individual channels for each presenter. You can find the paper abstracts there now too. Concerning the rules, please um, do not post any hurtful or offensive, offensive material and be kind to each other. The Zoom talks and discussions are interpreted by Mai Rapsh and Makoto Takeda. On Discord, we ask you to use automated translation software to translate posts in a language you are not so familiar with. So if you speak Japanese, please write in Japanese. If you speak English, please write in English and translate um, other people's posts. If you have the impression the automated translation did not work well, or you are stuck in a conversation, 
please assume the best of people and if necessary, contact me so that I can help. I may not react immediately due to moderating the talks. So with all that um, uh, out, of, out of the way, let's move to today's topics and program. So the symposium covers talks based on submissions to this year's special issue on choose your own narrative, which is our first guest edited issue. In a minute, I will thus hand over to the guest editor, Pedro Panjoca da Silva, who is an expert in game books and he will introduce you to this field in more detail. In the symposium today, the symposium today is sponsored by Game in Lab, who also provide the Discord server. You may have noticed that we are recording the event. The recordings will be available later on the Game in Lab YouTube channel. After Pedro's introduction, we have two first talks concerning the materi materiality of game books by Marco Arnaudo, and then the history of game books in Japan by Kondo Koshi. After the break, we have two more talks, Laia Liebeseller's contribution on interactive methodology in writing, followed by Peter Klein's talk on cosmic horror game books. All these contributions are also present in the issue you can access from our website. And after a second break, we have our general discussion where um, I want to remind everybody to speak slowly and clearly. Lastly, at the end of today, we give a little preview of next year's special issue. So without further ado, uh, I would like to hand over to, to Pedro and the introduction. So you have, you have the floor. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Pedro, and I have dedicated my Steel Shark Academy career to the study of game books. I would like to start by thanking all the JARP staff for the opportunity to organize the special issue dedicated to game books. as well as dedicating my short academic career to this type of textile hybrid, I felt that there was a lack of more in-depth studies on game books. Given that many are dedicated to tabletop RPGs and LARPs. I confess that I, was, I wasn't expecting a dozen articles on the subject. Given that few researchers in the world are dedicated to game book or write about it sporadically. I particularly enjoyed the text received and the subjects covered were very varied. Which enriched this theme and issue. So uh, why do I think game books deserve this? I was a child who didn't like reading and after my first contact with game book, I developed a reading habit. I thought it might work uh, for others too. I've had many students who weren't interested in reading uh, who started to enjoy it after learning about game books. So I wasn't an isolated case and there must be potential in this text or hybrid.
if we consider that the new generation of readers is looking for some immersive reading, in which they can be part or influence the course of the story, the game book seems to have room to flourish on the 21st century. If the first generation of the readers players, who those grew up in the 80s and 90s, who were hardly unaware of this phenomenon, found in the game book a different solution to the reading offered at that time. The second generation of reader players, the children of today's adults who grew up at the end of the last century, May find in them the same novelty since there is still lack of publicity and general public knowledge about game books. I don't think that the game book is intended to replace the sequential reading book. Nor that video games or computer games have developed to the point of making this textual hybrid a mere pastime. The game book will exist for its audience. which can be the same audience that consumes other geek and pop culture products. Without competition or one trying to destroy the other. Finally, I feel, I feel optimistic about the future of game books. Manuals, albeit rudimentary, are being released in game books that focus more on the narrative than the other uh, rule systems have been created. and they are becoming longer, more complex, more desirable. If interactive, if interactive is freedom, uh, the game book is an important tool for this. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. So we have, have still, of course, time. So if um, anybody wants to, to comment. Oh, yeah, first, everybody give applause. Yeah. So do we have, have a question or a comment? Peter, yes, please. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, very interesting. Uh, and it's great to see you as well, Pedro. I'm glad you could make it. Uh, just a quick question. Maybe you don't remember, uh, but you said you developed your reading habit after your first interaction with a game book. Do you remember what the game book was that inspired that uh, reading habit in you? Sure. The Temple of Silver from Leon Livingstone. In great January book. 1995. 
<laughs> oh wow, you remember it so well. Yeah. It was very important for me. <laughs> Great, I'll have to check it out. Marco, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your talk, Pedro. Uh, you said that there isn't a lot of awareness of game books in the general population. Um, but at least uh, where I grew up in Italy and then I live in the U.S., everybody knows the Choose Your Own Adventure series. To the point that if you want to explain what a game book is, you say it's like a Choose Your Own Adventure. And usually people will know that. So I wonder if... Uh, that what you said applies more to the game books with game rules and advanced game systems like fighting fantasy. But there is a general understanding of the basic concept of the game book. But few people know that then you can get to the next level. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. And I'm very optimistic with this. Uh, um, I think people is uh knowing about the game books by the reverse way let's say this uh they are for example um watching interactive netflix episodes for example and then discovering the game books like uh, the game book for them is like a, a bender's snatch in a book and for us is the contrary it's the the game book in um uh, a film for example. So uh, I think for me, it doesn't matter uh, in which way they will start, but uh, it's important for it's important for, for them to, to, to know about this uh, hybrid text. So because I, as I said, um, I can see a lot of benefits and, and few people know about it. Okay, another question by Peter. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, sorry, I won't. I won't dominate all the talk. Uh, just to add on to that as well. Um, just uh, earlier this week, I was talking to a Japanese colleague, um, uh, about this uh, presentation, and I mentioned game books. I mentioned choose your own adventure, and she had never heard of that before as well. So, um, and she's similar age to me. Um, so maybe it really depends on the country. Where I grew up in Ireland, it was common enough, and certainly at the time when I was growing up. But um, like Pedro said, uh, uh, certain areas as well might not have done it. And I think the younger generation might not be so exposed to it as well, except as Pedro said, starting to come through it to, through Netflix or something like that as well. That's all. Okay, thank you. Uh, maybe some of our our uh, Japanese participants can comment on how well known is is Kimi Nara Dosuru. So the Japanese title of Choose Your Own Adventure. So we have a, a thumbs up. <laughs> maybe this means it's it's well known. But I think um, uh, after uh, uh, Kondo Koshi's talk, who will um, talk a little bit about um, uh, game books in Japan, we may be able to bring that to together, the experiences in Japan and and elsewhere. Ah, Kono san, ano Ono san, ano komento. Do you would you like to to comment? Uh, 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 or, um... Okay. And any anybody else would like to comment? If not, ah, yeah, Marco. Um, just because actually responding to Peter, but I think you may correct be correct that may change dramatically from country to country. And in the US, actually, again, general 
understanding of choose your own adventure knowledge of what it is and how it works is still very common and if you look at the sales data uh, they still sell millions of copies millions and many of those books are acquired by school libraries so for mm -hmm. each copy you can possibly think of multiple readers it just so happens once in the elementary school of my kids once I walk in and the teacher was reading uh, Space and Beyond by Montgomery out loud and the kids were listening and then they would discuss together to make the choices. So again, in the US, there is this pop, if nothing else, they have heard of it. They know that there is such a thing as a book where you can choose. Again, it's also the country where it was born and so it's the country that the one... The country with the biggest tradition of a simple branching story without any game mechanics. Or at least it's the country with the longest tradition. Hmm.